Okay, students. So uh, chapter 3.2, Supporting Agile Loads. As usual, this chapter I take from the uh, book, Chili Mechanical Engineering Design, Chapter 7, Shaft and Shaft Components. Okay, so what happened when Agile Loads are not trivial? Meaning that it is not so important to consider Agile Loads. Okay, because the load happen in indirectly. Okay, you see here, you see here is a machine called uh, in Malaysia is called machine ais kacang. Okay, the one that you have at the evening a desert a desert. Okay, uh, this is you rotate here, you rotate the handle here, and the bevel gear will force the ice uh, to become a, a very good and delicious desert. Okay, so uh, the agile load is indirectly. Okay, the most important is the uh, is the vehicle gear here is giving the uh, loading at this part. You see the mechanism in the previous slide. Okay, one bearing. To carry the load, which is here, is the bevel gear. Okay, bevel gear. It has the bearing. It carries the load. Okay, you can see the shaft is, is an axial shaft here. It is the. This is the uh, horizontal shaft here, and the. Um, you remember the one that um, handle. Okay. Let me sketch. This is the handle. Okay. This is the handle. Okay. This is connected to, uh, to the particular beaver gear here. Okay. You rotate the handle, and the beaver gear move. And this is the perpendicular beaver gear. Will, uh, will be directly given the force to to do something okay okay so for example this is particularly important for long shaft uh, figure 7.3 as before so example of shaft with only one bearing carrying the as load in the shoulder so figure 7.3 the tapered roller bearings used in moving the machine spindle and the 7.4 the bevel gear drive with uh, both pinion and gear are shredder mounted. Okay, so you can relate the picture in the previous lights with this mechanism. So that's all for this video. I will see you in the next video 3.3 providing for torque transmission.